Hello everyone and welcome back to my career playthrough in Juno New Origins. In this video I hope to get back to making smaller, tighter rockets. We've been very luxurious with our Electron rocket recently, but I want to try and do things a little bit more efficiently and we'll see if we can manage that. But first of all, we've got this contract here that I'm a little bit puzzled by. And it says speedy pollution, which I'm generally against. I'm generally against that. Uh, a patch of concrete, but it will let you launch really huge things. That's the launch pad. Okay, we're not actually launching the patch of concrete, but it says craft mass always above one kiloton. Now, one kiloton is a lot. It's a lot more than we are carrying. Uh, this uh, electron rocket is one uh, 10.4 tons. I'm assuming she doesn't mean that. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming what she actually means is one ton, not one kiloton. But I could be wrong. But there's really no downside to picking it up and checking that. And probably we are going to... You know, if it is one ton, whatever else we're going to do, we're going to fulfill that. Uh, I intend to launch a one ton craft into orbit, for sure. So, all right, we've got that. I hope it's one ton and not one kiloton. Uh, I, you know, I can launch one kiloton if you want, but uh, probably not at that price. So, Brigo Orbit, I mean, once again, we aren't too interested in Solero. I mean, Brigo Orbit and Brigo Landing are certainly the most lucrative things around here. Um, small Sat mission is interesting with two small sats it's not really very lucrative <laughs> that's another thing it's a little flyby is also not lucrative but it could lead to other things so i'm more interested in that close enough to be in its sphere of influence and uh, right now i can't see the map so i can't tell whether we're close to a solero uh, opportunity or not We've already done a flyby, but then Solero does have this other moon, Herma. And so we could combine a Herma flyby and orbit with it, and then get some good tech points out of that. So that's another option. Um, yeah, uh, so maybe, maybe we'll just go with the Solero flyby, and of course our craft will require... I mean, one ton, not a thousand tons. And we'll do those two together, I think. The small sat mission will have to wait, but it doesn't even pay as much as the speedy pollution one, so... I, I object to the implication of pollution there. Now, one thing I realized at the end of the previous video, but I hadn't thought about, was resizing the docking port. Now, what I don't know is... If we, oh, it's got discrete steps, okay, okay. I was going, if we can arbitrarily resize the docking port, then will it match up? Will it dock with something with a different size? But since it's discrete, then obviously 25% uh, will only dock with 25% and that'll be fine. So we should have done the whole docking thing with that docking port, it would be nicer. But anyway, we'll set that aside for now. We don't need it for this mission. And actually, uh, making that up, we don't need two tanks, we'll just have one tank. It's possible that the best, the most cost efficient thing might be electric, but well, pressure fed is not too bad as far as efficiency is concerned. Electric has slightly better, well, substantially better efficiency. There's no boil off around here, and hydrolox doesn't cost more, it just means that there's a bigger tank. Pressure fed hydrolox is, uh, is a thing I've not seen, I don't think, in real life. So that's interesting. Hydrolox will take more volume for the tank, but not more mass. More. This is just a flyby mission, we don't have to worry about the landing, though uh, maybe we should think about that. <laughs> maybe we should think about that too, but that's mission creep here. Got some mission creep going on. Our control core is going to be a thin veneer on top of the tank right now. I wonder if uh, Mephilox costs... No, the tank tanks really don't cost differently, so that's good. 
Solar panels are cheap overall, but we probably don't need as much. I like having a hexagon of hexagons. And these always want to go the wrong way around. Okay. Maybe... Let, let me take the... Small sat contract and see... We might as well take a look at those small sats and how we might mount them. Well, now it's over a ton. Now we're getting... Heavy. Now we're getting heavy. Okay, a little bit more size here for the sake of the timing. We were very tall already though. I want to use the small pad again. But if we we're too tall, we're not going to be able to do that. Right, well we need a fairing. And we've got to put all of this into a fairing. Well, we might as well go for maximum width, right? Which is uh, 1.5 in radius. We'll go like that. <laughs> well, I mean, it's... We're going to have to make it sort of like that. I do want the electric hydrolocks, ideally. Electric is wonderful. Look, electric 440 seconds of ISP compared to stage combustion 378. Flow flow stage 399. Don't ask me about the logic, but we'll go with it. I mean, of course, we have to carry the batteries, but I don't think the batteries are that heavy. It says tanks in set produce 86.1 kilowatt hours. I don't see how that is. There's only one here. And then we've got the controller up there. Uh, do these have... Well, I guess it, when I click on them, they say fuel type battery, but I don't think they count. Um, the only other battery is up here, and that's only two kilowatts, so I don't quite understand that. Why do I... why does it say I have so much? No symmetry. Now these use 48 kilowatts. And we're gonna have a bunch of them. I'm gonna have it in five-way symmetry as well to pair up or match up with the engines. Yeah, I don't know where the extra battery is. All tanks in set. I mean, select a tank, two. So basically we need, as far as kilowatt hours are concerned, each one's got to consume 1.61 kilowatt hours. So two should be fine. We are under the max height. Um, it currently says that the upper stage isn't producing a whole lot of delta v but that's because of the huge satellites but then we can't get to orbit like that then again with those satellites this is a fairly cheap launcher i think but maybe i should just use srbs <laughs> and when we make orbit we're not gonna be one ton anymore let's just make it fat from the get-go just all fat i think that'll be enough power so, how's this stage doing now? Well, 22.3 minutes. Well, let's have some redundancy here. I mean, more than anything else, we need Delta V out of the first stage. And I don't know if Hydrolox is efficient as far as the volume that we can use, because we're volume constrained with the width and height. Maybe it would be better to be using a different thing instead of Hydrolox. Let's try Mephalox for the first time. Okay, so actually we can make the direct comparison. Hydrolox 2.37 kilometers per second. Since we're not constrained by mass, 
we get 3.42 on this stage from Methylox, and we can adjust the thrust weight ratio in a bit. Carolox, we get 3.84. So we might as well go with the Carolox here because we aren't constrained by mass but are in volume. And there's some width issue here. I have that much width. Are you too wide? Causing it to... Oh, it's probably the solar panels on there. Okay, so we're now using 10 engines down here. We're getting pretty good ISP because they're still electric pumped. And... Oh, I'm, I'm back on Methylox. thought we were going for Carolox here. Is that super... It's 2.2 million again. But then again, we're doing quite a lot right now. Much. But maybe it'll be cheaper to have fewer engines here. Okay, so vacuum delta V of stage 1 is 3.86 kilometers per second, which is a lot. And But a rocket is costing 2 million, but we're delivering two small sats, and then we'll see what we can do. All together we've got 6 kilometers per second, but that's with the two small sats on board. So this can fit on the smaller launch pad. It's really wicked and weird looking. Let's find out if the so village pad, find out if it's gonna do the job. Craft mass always, oh, okay, they really mean a thousand tons. Wow. <laughs> They really mean a thousand ton tons. Wow. I I underestimated that. Okay. Well, uh, we'll we'll pass on that one for now. Let's we'll time warp to the Solero window. We are carrying the two small sats. It recognizes that. We're gonna have to get into an awkward high orbit though. But at least it's not inclined. Uh, Solero is there. Oh, no, uh, that's Hadru's Comet. Solero's back there. Oh, we're gonna have to time war for a while. Oh, but that's gonna cause that to be a problem. Let's just launch the t uh, two sats first. Well, now they've got my attention. A thousand tons. They're not paying me enough for that. Okay, we're just gonna launch the two sats right now. And it's a little bit sad that that's all we're gonna do, but then it's all we're gonna do. Let me time warp to morning at least. We actually have a deadline for the Solero SOI thing too. Okay. And throttle up. And launch. Off it goes. This is a unit, as it were. Oh, we've way overdone the battery apparently. I swear, it, it said we had a lot of battery power. I don't know where that battery power was, but I think it was right. I've got too much stuff in this window. Well, at least, I mean, I'd like all the stuff, but we need to be able to make the window bigger, I think. Uh-oh. Um, we could lose those four engines, actually. Uh, th things have blown up. Oh, it's the solar panels. The way I put the solar panels isn't any good. Well, at least we're not going over to Solero this time. Okay, staging. Got five engines here now. I mean, I guess it could just hang out and wait until the Solero window in the future. I think we'll probably use all the Delta V for what we're doing here. Of course, it's probably not showing the correct delta V right now, but eventually we'll find out. Can't believe it's one kiloton. We have to get it to to orbit too, but it's intriguing. I mean, I have the budget, right? <laughs> sure, I have the budget. But they haven't paid me enough. 
We're boosting up to the 692. Okay, well, that's good enough for now. Okay, 692. And I'll just ignite here. And 804. Okay, well, we are close enough to the desired orbit and separate. Okay, we got the small sat mission contract done. Now, it says we have 1.17 kilometers per second remaining, but we might want those small sats to be further away before we actually find that out. So let's time warp a bit. Uh, it says 1.9 now. I think 1.9 is enough to go to Solero. It's just that we we don't have the right timing, but we can leave this in orbit and it's just going to hang out. The problem is uh, our solar panels blew up, uh, except for two. Now, are, uh, are we going to be okay with two? Let's find out. Um, we will need RCS for this. It's like it's got two eyes now. Okay. Stabilizing. But it recharges pretty quickly. So I think we're okay with two panels. We can leave this here. Um, I don't know when we're going to have that window, but... Let's look at this large payload situation, shall we? So we'll uh, in-flight save flight, and we'll come back to this. I wonder, hold on, cancel. Can we rename this right now? Well... Uh, okay, I don't see an easy way to rename it right now. I might be missing something. Let's just, uh, this might be a map view, but let's just leave it be. All right, well, I don't even know if we have a pad that can accommodate something that's a thousand tons. And I sure as heck don't want it to be some piece of trash. So we're gonna put docking ports on it so they can get fuel. We're gonna build a huge fuel depot. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be any good or not. So I'm going to save this craft. This is obviously not Electron. We've lost the old Electron, I guess. So this is... Um, Bertha. <laughs> it's Bertha. We are going to have a docking port, because otherwise this isn't going to be much of a depot. And we'll size this to that. And we'll make it... This is too heavy a docking port. I want... 50% docking ports. That's good enough. That is going to be our RCS tank. We'll just fill up with battery. We will. I mean, this has got to be a big station kind of thing. So gyros. Oh, uh, some gyro. Um, yeah, because uh, it's a station. We can have gyros. Not a whole lot of gyros though. Okay, there we go. We got lots of power, lots of gyros. Now our biggest launch site right now is this DSC launch pad. We can go up to 200 meters in height. Okay, well, that's a whole other level, isn't it? Uh, well, that right there is as close as I'm getting to the diameter of the S4B stage for Saturn V, 6.6 .6 meters. Okay, that's plenty of Kerlox. We've got basically 100 tons of Kerlox. Well, that's not a whole lot, considering we're trying for a thousand tons, so, okay. Maybe we'll go to the diameter of Saturn V altogether. Uh, somebody wanted me to paint parts. Painting parts will help me remember what the tanks are. Okay, it's orange. No, uh, orange is good for hydrolocks. Fine, red for kerosene. How many brown for kerosene? Okay, that's the kerosene one. This is, you, you, you've asked for it, you asked for paint jobs. You're gonna regret it. Uh, mephalox next. Mephalox, the purple, right? Purple is mephalox. At least the plume. It's only 1.3 million right now. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's gonna get worse once we add the engines. And Hydrolox has got a huge tank. Uh, maybe I should just make a point here. Well, 200 meters was the max height, right? 
Gush, what is... Uh, come on. Hydrolox. One kiloton. There we are. It's only 5.5 million, too. We've got 2.5 billion. Okay. That's that's our one kiloton tank. Formidable, isn't it? Okay. RCS thrusters. <laughs> we got to put them on top like that. I'll let the gyro do the roll. I don't want to put the roll thrusters. Okay. We'll have an interstate. Uh, we'll have an engine on this. Should do. Well, which of these fuels should we use? <laughs> it's got negligible thrust to weight ratio. And no delta V. Because it's not feeding through. Okay, we'll make it Hydrolox then. 55 minute burn time. No Delta V. Let's skip the engine. <laughs> it's useless. Okay, let's have an interstage. I think maybe only having one docking port is not necessarily the best idea, but... Oh, I can't make any bigger than that? Wait, I was told that we could do 200 meters. Come on. 100 meters. I can't do more than 100 meters. What's... Hmm? 101 meters, apparently. This launch pad says max size 200 meters. Maybe it's just 100 meters per tank? Hmm. Or not really, because we're not counting the top bit. Okay, big engines time. I mean, if we want to go efficiency, we got to go electric again, though. Look at all the explosive power. Staged combustion. Oh, that's pretty much all the Delta V we need. You know, this has negative 957 kilowatt power usage, which means it produces 957 kilowatts. If we have one of these and a whole bunch of electric ones, it'll be able to power them, right? Then again, the power usage of this is 957. Oh, it's actually constant power usage, but this one is so much smaller. It's not producing much thrust. They're like little vernier engines. Uh, it's probably not worth it. We are past uh, F1 levels of thrust here. Having one stage do all the work might not be the best idea. We could have a vacuum optimized stage up here. Okay, maybe two of these engines. Concerned. Two kilometers per second, is that good? It's not really worth a hydrolock stage, but... Well, that's a healthy thrust-to-weight ratio, even at the start. Lots of thrust. Lots and lots of thrust. 20 meter diameter. Weird coloration on the top. But it says enough delta V, I believe. So, well, we've got money to burn. Heck, uh, this amount is still less than we would be paid for a Brigo landing. So, the total mass is 4.48 kilotons, and we're trying to get a kiloton into orbit. Let's see. Well, we I forgot the pad fee. There is the pad fee. Uh, I don't think we could manage the alley pad limitations, no. We, it is the only, only reasonable use of the, the DSC launch pad. Wrong craft. No, this is the right craft. Oh, uh, no, cancel, cancel. You're right. This is the wrong craft for that. Lock current hitting. RCS off. 
Okay, ignition. That's a lot of smoke. I can't see where I'm going like that. Somebody asked for a paint job. It's your fault. <laughs> you wanted a paint job. Hopefully it'll be a good target to rendezvous with to grab fuel for other things. But we only have one docking port. We could always add a docking hub to it though. If I actually want to do docking. Which I don't. But <laughs> we need an excuse. I didn't put solar panels though, but we're, uh, we're not expecting much. We could add solar panels, but then again that would require me to dock with it. Mage engine is taking heat damage. I'm not gonna take any chances on that. Oh, one went. Okay, staging. And these two intrepid engines. Better not be using any extra fuel, okay? Huge Hydrolox vacuum engines. Whoa, you're going off this side there too much. I didn't really calculate including the dry mass of this tank and the engines. We could have probably made the payload a little bit smaller. <laughs> but I decided to make the payload a clean one kiloton. In or honor of the audaciousness of the contract. I had gotten a purple, but it looks more blue to me right now. They glow too much, too. Okay, orbital velocity. And shut down. Well, okay, there's some trail off. Uh, 103 by 90. And we got paid 8 million for a 500 million dollar rocket. Plus a hundred million dollar launch fee. I don't know. They should get a lot of value out of us. This uh, person that gave us this contract. Okay. Well, we'll just leave it be like this. And it will be our... What the heck did I name it even? Anyway, save flight. Hopefully we'll remember that this is our depot. Alright. Well, we've launched the largest thing I've launched in this game well since I started career mode I think possibly before this I've launched big things but uh, since they did the full release and I started the career mode this is the largest thing I've launched by a factor of about 400 or something like that definitely two orders of magnitude it's called new <laughs> the rocket's called new hopefully we'll remember that to use it at some point uh, though, active craft, I only have six slots left. I have to be careful about that. Okay, uh, so next time I have to remember that we've got a craft ready to go for Solero. And we just have to time warp to the window to get that over there. We might want to recoup some of the losses from this particular rocket launch by actually landing on Brigo. But maybe I should land something more interesting on Brigo than I've done before. So, anyway, those are the thoughts. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.